was good, was good. Not a crazy emulations. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all just like this, straight to the point. RPC S3 College Troops 2K8 gameplay, hands down. I got upcoming gameplay later. I got a reshade with this mod with a little HDR. <laughs> Get ready for college hoops. Potter. Sparks takes the shot. Misses the three-pointer. And it's still not enough. Zero. Goes up. Snatched inside by Colvin. With the up and in on the last layup. They were able to score first and hope the score sets the tone for the entire game. Well, Bill, let's just see what the response will be. Sparks has it. Right wing. Stone in the wall. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Very okay. Cohen inbounds the ball. Leads him with the pass. Cohen takes it up. Lays it right in. He's got two. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Well, just before the game, I talked to the great Danes coach. He told me that the speed of the team on the other end of the court is a huge concern. He said we have no excuses tonight. They have such great team speed that if we don't hustle back on defense on every trip, they'll be shooting layups on us all game. Thanks, Tracy. By Polder. Randolph, way up court. Puts it up. The three-point shot was offline by Sparks. When a shot like that comes around, you've got to hit it. They just dared him to shoot. Misfired on that last three by Aiken. Sparks did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Oh, wow. Last play was that one by Fuller. Hit. But it's recovered by Polder. Huskin takes it up. Got the hustle out of the little guy. Pulling it away from the big fellas. Randall from deep. Sparks gets the board inside. Off target on the last layup. Stolen by Sienna. I like how he gets himself into defensive position. At the right place, right time yet again. Throws it up. It's blocked. I love that defense. With great instincts, go out there and get a hand on that shot. Blocked. He gets it back. Hold it. Dumps it down low. Nice layup in front of him by Wente. Potter inbounds the ball. Just over seven minutes left in the half. With the D just standing around, it's just too easy. You know he's dropping that one in. Huskin catches it. Right side. There he is. Hey, Ken. It's deflected, but it's recovered by Sparks. Wendo shoots it. Drills the long three. They're now behind by two. Dumps it to the paint. Wendo hammers it in. And they're up by four. Deflects the pass. The great thing. Turn this one over out of bounds. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Allison inbounds the ball. Rose. The shot. Down low. Just missed it. Three point opportunity. Let the big line to do it. He misses the first. Good on number two. 
About six and a half minutes left in the half. Dangerous pass. Last oh, shot by, him by Allison. Gee, what a nice feed on that assist to get the deuce. He's been finding the open guy all game long, Von. And it's no surprise he leads this team in assists. Catches it. Out left. Let's it go. Got the bucket and the foul. They're going to line for a chance at a three-point play. Turn the court to get some the contact. Hang in the air and hit the shot. Pretty, Von. Can't come away with a three-point play. It's tipped, and it's scooped up by Paul. He goes up for the Hail Mary, but it's extremely dangerous to toss it up like that, Bill. As we saw, somebody will come down with it, but it isn't necessarily who you want. Potter grabs the rock. Last shot. Get the end. That's why coaches want you to hit the glass when the shot is released. Good things happen when you keep that pressure on. Passes to the right one. Harvin has not been able to shut down the inside game at all. They see it by their bench with a report. The great Danes coach just told the players on his bench, we have to be more physical in the paint. Don't be afraid of some contact. Sounds like he'd rather have some fouls called than to keep giving up all those easy baskets. Thanks, Ray. Off target on the shot by Hoskins. Alden is really struggling. Wow, his mid range game is generally solid. He can't believe it, and I can't believe it. No good. Oh, but Carter, Farrell, with the shot. He is the jump shot. But they're still behind by three. Sienna makes his first time out of the game. The Sienna coach has a new lineup that isn't extremely experienced. This could have an effect on the team's chemistry. Let's see. Aiken inbounds the ball. Bethel. Aiken gets it. Left side. Tosses it up. That basket game scored by Bethel. They're in front. 21 to 60. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Miniman misfired on that last three by Zahn. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Skip pass. Right block. Potter passes it up court. With the shot. Can't hit from beyond the arc. They're still down seven. It's one on one. This is a play by Hoskins. Off target on the last play. Minty pulled down that offensive board like it was no problem. What a battler. Well, let's get this back to the game. The Great Danes are going to make some substitutions. Wong inbounds the ball. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Wilder behind the arc. But keeps it alive on the offensive end. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Goes up. Grabbed inside by Wilder. Wong tosses it up. And misses. What was that all about? He'll give them that look all game. They just don't believe he can beat them with that shot. That's recovered by Bethel. Takes it up. That's a piece of it. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they try to sneak what's going on. The big guy has spoken. Leads him in. Stolen by Barton. Sparks kicks it out to the wing. Crosses it over.
Randolph raises up. Can't put an end to the scoring drive. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. With the floater. Hit it. Got fouled. And he'll have a shot at the three-point goal. The Saints will get a few more starters back into the game. Free throw for the three-point play. 2:03 left in the first half. Two Sparks minutes remaining. Ends it off. Two minutes. Beats it for a side. Connects inside the key. They took the lead to eight. Aiken inbounds the ball. Wenty backs down. Dishes it to the left wing. Aiken off the mark with the three ball. But they're still up by eight. Randolph releases. It's money from deep. He's two for six from three point one. Goes up. Good job on the layup by Wendy. The Albany coach saw something out there he didn't like, and he called for a timeout. He wants to make sure that everyone is working together out there. The Great Danes with some difficulties. Sparks from the free throw line. Rose pulls it in. It's one on one. Takes it up. Plays up and in by Porter. He's got six. Potter, the crossover. Randolph puts it up. But Rips down the offensive defense. Nine second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. He got down and still has his way out. He's going to go to the line for two shots. Inbounds the ball. 39 seconds left in the first half. Goes up. It's blocked. He just exploded off the floor to time that block. Wonderful anticipation by the defender. The steal by Albany. Sparks goes over. Catch the break with a tremendous jump. And they're now behind by eight. Rose catches it on the free throw line. What a pass. Allison grabs the rebound inside. Checks in for the first time. Potter inbounds the ball. Fires. Shot in time, but the buzzer beater was no good by Randolph. First half comes to an end. Score 33 to 23. What do you think of the first half, Phil? I can't think of too much good to say about this game so far. Maybe you can do play-by-play -play and color. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Phil?